he knows what you did five minutes ago. Please, Ignite London, welcome Mr. Tom Scott! Thank you. So, hello, I'm Tom. A uh, quick poll. Who here has no presence, no account on Facebook, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, on any social network? Anyone? We've got a couple of hands up. Okay. Who here has everything public? Do you have your medical conditions on Twitter and you're posting everything? Anyone here? Top them there. Anyone who falls into those groups enjoy the ride. Everyone else, bit of a warning. This is pulling live data from the internet. It may include offensive stuff, apologies if it does. Also, if people's personal information appears, please don't photograph or video it. I'll be blanking out the video before it appears. So, let's start with Twitter. Social Media Week, let's start here. Twitter has binary privacy settings, which are very interesting, because the Press Complaints Commission this morning ruled that if you've got your Twitter account set to public, all the tweets there are fair game for journalists. So, if you tweeted that you hate your boss, like all these people did in the last hour, <laughs> you probably might. It basically fails the bitter X test. Can someone who hates you ruin you with this information? Let's talk about Foursquare. Most people here will have read pleaserobme.com, which tracks when people leave their homes. But can you find out when people are in the home and where that home is? Well, yes, if you've made two errors. One, put Twitter onto Foursquare, and two, checked in at their own home. <laughs> Pretty much all these locations have Google Street View information, so you can case the joint before you get there. And to make that even worse, you know all of them have smartphones. <laughs> so let's talk about YouTube. YouTube has privacy settings, but no one uses them. Uh, it has secret and unlisted, but what people generally do is just upload with no tags and no name. But it's still tagged with a file name. So if you search for, say, dsc2432.mov, you find things like this. I have no idea what's up on, stage, on the screen behind me. <laughs> These are nine completely random videos with no context. People's kids and people talking, that's a slice of the internet there, at least the, the bit of the world that has broadband internet access and video cameras. Wikipedia is interesting, anonymous users leave traces. You guys know this, if you edit Wikipedia, then your IP address shows up. Interestingly, so does your work proxy address. So here are the four most recent edits that are interesting from within the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> and Megan and Mark Harper are both members. But, it, but it's worth pointing out that just because they're from inside the House of Parliament doesn't mean that the MPs made them. It could be anyone. <laughs> now, you'll notice I've avoided the elephant in the room, which is Facebook. Facebook actually has excellent privacy settings, despite what everyone believes. And security. They will text you a one-time password in case you don't trust the computer you're logging in on. They're really good. Unless you've got it set to public. And a lot of people don't really realise what public means. For example, here are 200 people who have everything set to public on their Facebook profile. Do they know it? Some of them do. Many of them don't. So this is where it could go very wrong. Let's pick one of these people. And that has gone very wrong. There. His profile picture is a picture of a tree, I think. So that's interesting. I've never met him. I have no idea who he was. He's been picked by the computer. Now... Let's have a look uh, closer at his profile. Facebook actually blocks uh, my automated program for getting anymore, but that doesn't stop him. That doesn't stop me just logging in and looking at his profile. So let's have a quick look. Uh, he's a tree surgeon, that explains the photos. Uh, surgeon co college, he's He was born on the 14th of December, 19... It's a Friday. Uh, <laughs> his dad looks terrifying. Oh, uh, I'm a tree... This is aunt, which means that... It's probably his mother's maiden name. Do you feel freaked out yet? Yeah, here are a few of his recent thoughts. Fernando Torres is probably a Chelsea fan. <laughs> now, here's the interesting thing. The system, Cross Fingers, should have removed one tweet from that timeline, so one message from that timeline, and put it here. This is almost certainly going to go to voicemail, but let's give him a call. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm leaving a message for I'm currently on stage in London in front of uh, 100 people. Give us a cheer. I'm just checking this. He's a tree surgeon, a uh, Chelsea fan, uh, and just so you know, you should probably lock down the Facebook profile and security settings. 
and you were probably born on a Friday, and I think your mother's maiden name is... <laughs> I hope you've had a wonderful evening. My name's Tom Scott. Good night.